released in 1989, Paul's Boutique has been one of the Beastie Boys' most widely acclaimed albums ever produced, mostly due to their use of samples that were chopped and looped throughout the album. In fact, it is said that so many samples were used on this album that they lost track of who to credit and are still getting sued to this day. Fresh off of Def Jam Records, the Beastie Boys set out to create an album that sounded completely different than their first release, Licensed to Ill. After hearing a demo tape of beats from the LA production duo The Dust Brothers, the same Dust Brothers who would go on to produce for Beck, the soundtrack to Fight Club, and yes, Hanson's Mbop. <laughs> They decided they would have them produce their entire record. The end product was a medley of sample-heavy cuts that would give any record collector a run for their money, while layering them with their own hilarious rhymes that had gained their initial fame. The group set a landmark in the way producers would work their MPCs as a new dawn in hip-hop was on the rise known as the Boom Bap era. You heard my style, I think you missed the point. While it may not go down as everyone's favorite BC Boys record, Paul's Boutique has been regarded as one of the most influential and innovative produced hip-hop albums to date that led to its given title as the Sgt. Pepper of Hip-Hop.